I'm here with Honda in Cape Town for the launch of their brand new Honda Elevate. It's a new completely from the ground up car for them. Um, it's one to look out for, it's got a lot to offer and it's pretty well priced too. So enjoy this, I'm gonna cover as much as I can. So the launch took place at this pretty modern Zeitz Mocker, which is like a contemporary art gallery. It was pretty cool. On the inside here, you can see they've got the whole thing set up. But when you look up, yo, it reminds me exactly of somewhere where I could see Doctor Strange living straight out of a Marvel movie. But regardless, yep, here's the setup. There's the car. Let's get into it. At these sorts of launches, it normally starts with a bit of a talk from the marketing team, some of the executives telling us about the car, a little bit about the day and what they've got planned for us to do, as you can see right over here. And then the rest of the presentation gets quite technical where they speak about the car in detail, which is all the stuff that I'm going to cover while doing this video for you. But if you want me to go through this information in a little bit more detail, like it is in these presentations, then let me know down in the comments. But I think this is one of the most important slides. So if you want to pause the video here, then have a read. It tells you the main differences between the two variants of the Elevate that you get. Now, as you can see, it comes in six different colors and Honda are putting a lot of pressure on this vehicle to be one of their big sellers because as you can see it's in the volume category so there's a lot of pressure on it but in order to do those volumes you need to have great pricing as you can see over here and that's all of the technical stuff from the launch presentation don't worry I'm gonna chat a little bit more about it as the video goes on but firstly I have to select which car I want to spend the rest of the day with and as you can see here there's a variety of colors to choose from which makes choosing it a little bit difficult but because your boy likes to waste his time and take a lot of pictures this is what i got stuck with yep silver but that's fine it's just a color now let's take a quick look around the inside of the car and this is the first time i'm looking at it as well and i'm pleasantly surprised with how neat and tidy and upmarket it looks in here it's very well put together it's a great design it's minimalist and look how good these seats are cannot wait to get into them and drive they look super comfortable but one of the highlights of this car is the space as they've said so in the back here you can see that is all of the legroom yeah in a medium suv like this i think that's pretty impressive but the biggest standout is obviously going to be the size of this boot it might not come across in video but trust me in person it is huge yep there it is now let's go for a drive now i did promise i would come back and speak a little bit more about the specifics and the details about the car now this new Honda Elevate is powered by a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated engine and it puts out 89 kilowatts and 145 newton meters of torque. And my initial first impressions of driving this was, wow, because I've just spent two months in the Grand Vitara, which is a very similar car in terms of the category that it's in. And not only does this Elevate have more power than the Grand Vitara as well as the Urban Cruiser, but it also feels a lot more solid on the road. It's more comfortable, it feels planted, and it drives just like you would expect and want a Honda to drive. You get the option of a six-speed manual, which you don't get in the Urban Cruiser and the Grand Vitara, but here I was driving the CVT, which is not always my favorite, but I was highly impressed with this one. Okay, cool, I thought I'd interrupt the video with a little chat, and I'm sure you recognize this guy. Um, I forced him Where is he? not to wear a green shirt today. <laughs> You're very funny, Greg. Yeah, I try. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been driving this around Cape Town. Um, I think we've got like an over 100 kilometer route that we've been doing here. And honestly, I'm actually quite impressed with the car. Um, it's a, yeah, one of those medium sized SUVs is what they're calling it. And 1.5 naturally aspirated. We're in the top of the range, which has got a CVT. Yeah. And I know people are gonna turn their nose up to CVTs, but I think we're driving it as anyone who's gonna buy this car is gonna drive it. And I think it's performing really well. Yeah, you can't really judge a car just because it's got a CVT. And CVTs mm -hmm. do have a really bad reputation. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're slow, they're sluggish. Yeah. And this CVT to a greater extent isn't any different. I mean, as soon as you get on the power on a CVT, it is gonna be wow. Yeah. But it's an SUV. Are you really gonna be driving it like no. that? No. For me personally, the benefits of having a CVT come into your day-to-day -day driving when you're driving around the city when you can put your foot on the accelerator pedal and the car always gives you the exact amount of expected power that you in are that anticipating. In that rev range where you need to be. Yeah, yeah, in that rev range where you need to be. Whereas like a DCT, like in this car's competitors, one of its competitors, like yeah. the Sonnet, 
which has the DCT and that one liter turbo. You start driving that car around in traffic and it just gets so clunky first to second, first to yeah, second. Yeah, always first finding to second. the right yeah. Whereas this is so smooth, it's so fluid, mm. and that's something that Honda also said to us where they said that it is it must be a very intuitive driving experience, and that can be said about all Hondas. Yeah. Not just this one. I mean you're a Honda aficionado, so I do enjoy I mean, you've my got Hondas. all the gear. <laughs> <laughs> but but with that being said though, I'm not biased. If a car drives course, nicely, yeah. it drives nicely. And I think that's something that I particularly appreciate about Japanese cars versus Chinese cars where mm. you get into a Chinese car and it's like where do I find this button no you're not gonna find the button because it's buried in the screen yeah everything you need to access here is within uh, a reach of your, exactly. of your fingertips yeah and then the design of the car it's a modern muscular boxy and standard across the elegance and comfort model are LED daytime running lights LED headlights and LED rear tail lights the elegance model gets 17 inch alloy wheels where the comfort only gets 16 inch steel wheels I think it's a really good looking car and a really great addition to the Honda stable. And then on the inside of the Honda Elevate, you've got a premium looking interior with contrast stitching and on the top spec model, you even get a digital instrument cluster on the left hand side. You've got an eight inch infotainment with a rear camera and park sensors, separated climate control, which is always a win, wireless charging, and on this elegance model, the CVT transmission, where if you get the comfort, you get the six speed manual. The seats are really comfortable and the entire interior is made from eco-friendly leather. And then hopping into the back seats, this is where you're really going to benefit from the additional space that Honda has created in this Elevate. As you can see here, I've got heaps of space in front of my knees and above my head, man, I can almost fit another head. <laughs> all in all, it's a really good looking interior with top class materials and a proper build quality that you expect from Honda. The only thing that I don't like or was kind of taken by surprise by is that it does not have cruise control weird now if you want to get your hands on a honda elevate then go and check one out on changecars.co.za their website that sells new and used cars and they pride themselves on service excellence and only make sure that they're working with the top dealers in the country they're approved by all of the automotive manufacturers as well as discovery insure which says a lot and if you've got a quote from a dealership that's not on their website you can bring it to them and not only will they match it but they'll beat it too they're a hub for everything automotive from car reviews to articles and everything in between so go check out Change Cars. They're also a proud partner of Greg Dennis Reviews. So thanks for watching another review. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit more about the new Honda Elevate. Yes, this was a short one. It was just at the launch here in Cape Town. Um, just a bit of a walk around, see what the car's about, the pricing, the specs, the engines, etc. cetera. Um, but once I get it on test, we can do a full review, proper driving impressions, and really get stuck in. So for now, that's it. If you enjoyed this, please do drop a like below. And if you want to see more videos like this, other car reviews and launches, then make sure that you subscribe. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. You know the Loch Ness Monster is real. Just by the way. I don't believe that. No, it's genuinely real. Still don't believe that. Until you're there on Loch Ness, and then they show you all of the sonars, and they show like you Bigfoot. all the proof, bro. Okay, no, Bigfoot's not real. Okay, but then how can Loch Ness be real? Because they showed us proof. Oh, did they? They showed us all the sonar. I've seen all those blurry videos of the, the Bigfoot. Yeah, that's what I've also seen.